G'day everybody, it's Joe here. Welcome to another ChronicleChamber.com video. This video we'll be looking at the Phantom 2040 board game. Now this is from Spain. Um, Jermaine did show it in his previous board game video. Uh, however, his was in uh, shrink wrap, so he didn't actually get to open it up and um, take a look inside, which is what I'm going to do in this one. So if you checked out that video and enjoyed it, hopefully you'll enjoy this one too. So, as I said, this is from Spain. Um, so this is obviously the front of the box. You've got beautiful artwork here, and there's beautiful artwork all the way through the thing. It's kind of um, stock art, so we have seen this image of the fan of Thorny's Punch and this image of the ghost jungle before, but you've got to admit, it's very beautiful, nicely painted. Uh, and we just don't see this sort of artwork anymore, which, which is a shame. You can see down here, it was released in 1994. It's got the Hearst Entertainment King Feature Syndicate, so it is an official uh, production. I'm just going to flip the whole box over, so we're going to put it back. So this is the back of the box. You've got the big Phantom 2040 logo here. A whole bunch of text here, which basically tells you uh, the story of Phantom 2040 and a basic idea of the game. Obviously there it's in Spanish, but I have translated it and there's going to be a link um, on the Chronicle Chamber website and probably in the description of this video um, as well uh, if Jermaine or whomever remembers to add it uh, translating all that as well as some other text that is on the inside. So let's open her up. Here you can see a bit of the board. So I'll take that out. Have a look at that in a sec. So this is the box interior. As you can see it's fairly basic. Um, you've got Again, a brief description of Fair 2040 and what the game is. Uh, this part here, this top part, just basically repeats what's on the back of the box. This here is the game's instructions. And then these little parts here, and again, over on the right-hand side, that uh, explains what various uh, spaces on the game board mean, which I will show you in a minute. Um, this little slip of paper, I'm assuming this is original comes with the game um, obviously this wasn't bought in Spain when it came out by me personally I bought this recently off of um, a Spanish eBay like site um, so I haven't bothered to translate this but if people are really interested of course I can then you get these pieces now they're pretty standard playing pieces there's nothing terribly fancy about them um, I'd say this game was kind of made quote unquote on the cheap for a children's market. Um, I'm assuming they're the official pieces that come with it. I haven't been able to find any information that says that um, they're not, so we'll just go with that. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five pieces there, and the game does um, support, I think, let's say here, yeah, six pieces. So one dice, one uh, game board. So it looks like everything is there. So that's the interior. Now let's have a look at the board itself. So at the back, just a bit, of, it's a nice big bit of cardboard with the FAM 2040 logo on either side. We'll flip it over. And here we have the actual game board. So, as you can probably tell, you start here and you've got to go all the way around all 93 spaces and then up to where Dr. Jack is. Now, each one of the spaces with the picture, so 15 there with the Phantom, and you can see some of them are highlighted, so there's 8 with Kit, um, the singing lady whose name I'm forgetting, Van Goria, I think, of something like that, uh, Madison, and then these ones with the skulls as well, they all, oh, and you've got some different coloured ones, um, there's 46. 34 over the side. They all mean different things. Um, again, if you're interested to find out what all that means, you can uh, have a look at the translation of the game rules, which will be posted along with this video. So let's have a bit of a look at the artwork. So you've got, got Dr. Jack, uh, the fan fighting a, fighting a boy out with his um, policewoman girlfriend. I can't recall her name. Sorry. Kit Walker himself, the Phantom on his hover bike, uh, Fangoria. Phantom again, Sparks, the Phantom's techie helper, of course the evil Rebecca Madison. Um, all of that, as far as I'm aware, is pretty much stock art. There's no new artwork on here, but it's still pretty nice. So I've not actually played the game, I've not had a go at it. Um, 
maybe I'll calm the wife into having a bit of a crack, but we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, that's the Fernand 2040 Spanish board game. It's pretty nice. It's uh, rare-ish. I thought it was very rare until I realised Jermaine already had one, so that spoiled things for me a little bit. But nah, just kidding. I'm very happy to have this. Um, as you guys might know, I'm a big fan of Phantom 2040, so I'm after all the stuff I can get on it. Uh, so this is a great piece for my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Phantom 2040 Spanish board game. Remember to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your friends and stuff on the various social medias and jungle drums that you may use. Alright guys, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe I'll catch you again soon. Cheers!